Feather Gem, the mode of Ask Lucy Shy, and you're listening to the MBS show. Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 147. I am your host, Norma Sanzo. Joining me today is Lycan. Hello there. Hello, the Lycan, how are you? Oh, I'm pretty good. How are you now? Well, I think I'm getting a fever, I'm having a headache right now, and I'm coming with a sore throat, so yay! It, too much partying on New Year's, huh? No, I don't. I didn't party, man. The last thing I remember I did was hanging out with you guys. <laughs> oh, that's awesome in itself. Uh, yeah, true, true. Too much screaming, I guess. Uh, not for the things that are supposed to be... Um, uh, moving on! Our guest for this week is Feather Gem. Hi. Hello there, Feathers. How are you? Um, just feeling a little bit ill, but fine other than that. Oh, let me guess. Party also? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, seems everyone's getting ill from the con flu or whatnot. <laughs> so, anywho, so before we proceed with the show, we need to ask you the four important questions. And question number one is, favorite character? Um, Discord, definitely. Discord, oh my. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting one. Have we ever had that response before? Um, yeah, uh, from I Love KP a lot. Ah, that's right. Yeah, and also I think Puffy. Puffy said Discord. Hmm, yeah. So, why Discord? I feel like he has a lot of backstory to him that they don't put into the show, so I find him interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I mm, wow! It's like you've been scripting with that one out. <laughs> uh, you must be getting a lot of those questions. Eh? All right, no problem. So, favorite episode? I think the finale of season four. Well, that is a good one. That is a good one. A lot of Dragon Ball fights and whatnot, and a lot of laser beams. It's almost proof that it's not just a girl's show. Oh yeah, man. Mm. Talk about girl show, like. If you think about it, right, Gem and the Holograms, those those were girls' show, but they had really interesting stories. Mm-hmm. A lot of backstabbing, you might say, and punk rock. Mm. So did you have the same reaction I had when the treehouse blew up? <laughs> <laughs> I cried a little bit. My books! <laughs> I... I was like, oh my god, that's, that's their home, what do we do? Ah... Oh, why does this remind me of that one guy from Avatar? My cabbages! <laughs> uh, so, uh, cabbages aside, how do you become a fan of the show? Um, that's a long story. Is that okay? Oh, sure. We have time. Mm-hmm. If you hear us snoring, then there's a signal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, when I was younger, I actually played with the Generation 3 toys. And, well... <laughs> um, so for a long time that's the basic thing I would play with and I would use them to create stories I usually played with the little ones and when Generation 3.5 came I got a little bit upset because they were kind of ugly <laughs> <laughs> okay. so, <laughs> and I, I, was, yeah, I was a little bit angry about that and then Generation 4 came and that made me even angrier because then everything was gone. There was no hope for Generation 3. But uh. I watched the kids react, or teenagers react, for the ponies. And I thought about it because they mentioned bronies. And I, find, I found that very interesting. So after a while, I started watching the show. And a little bit into Season 2, I joined the fandom. Wow, um, that's a first from... Um, kids react. I never heard from. I never heard someone getting into the show that way. Yeah, mm. being a season three fan, uh, a series three fan. I mean, yeah. Mm. So, what did you not like about season or like the fourth generation? You said you didn't like it at first. Well, I didn't like it because it seemed like they didn't have the small ponies, which I like to play with. So it seemed like the stories I was making of the small ponies when I played with them, was going to end. And mm. So you're, you're talking about from a toy expert, right? Mm-hmm. I was mm. young. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Well, I'm guessing you were 
young that time, and you could also tell that the three point five was not good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Hasbro marketing, learn, learn from your mistakes. So the what... baby ponies, yeah. Oh God, no, no. Oh, I remember that flash animation of Scootaloo. Like, ah. Okay, let's just let's just pull out the brain br- brain bleach and just oh. erase all memory of it. No, no, no. Calling Vito, let's move on. Anywho, uh, what do your family and friends think about your love for Sid's show? Well, my parents are okay with it. They don't mind. Um, I guess it's because I'm a girl. Um, mm-hmm. But my the rest of my family finds it a little bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a girl and you like ponies. And how weird is that? I guess they think it's a kid show. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. That's strange. <laughs> but hey, um, at least um, your immediate family are cool with it. Mm-hmm. What about your friends? I actually accidentally made my friends like the show. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Uh, Sharing is caring. Oh wait, no, that's a different fandom. Oh, still, it works. Yay! Make them join us. One of us. One of us. Join the herd. herd. (laughs) So what did they say? Like, what was their reaction at first? They were actually pretty okay with it, I guess. I live in a small town, so when they hear My Little Pony, it doesn't sound so childish. Mm -hmm. I can see. Like, maybe their show is a bit different from what they usually watch. It's cool. Alright. So, anywho... Uh, thank you for answering the four important questions. And let's move on to the next topic, which is guest time. And in guest time, we have you, Feathers. Uh, mind introducing yourself to the people who might not know who you are and what you do? Okay, well, most people know me as Feather Gem. And I have three ask blogs, which are Ask Dizzy Shy, Ask Discord Dizzy Shy, and Guide Constellation. And I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so no DeviantArt, no fanfic or no, nothing like that? I don't know if many people look at that. <laughs> oh, you should link people to it and then make them look. <laughs> make them look. <laughs> <laughs> so, you have three us blocks and what got you into the us block community? Um, well, at first I just found a few us blocks and I found it very interesting. And then one of my friends, um, he goes by Paradox. Mm-hmm. He, um, asked me if he could, if I could draw um, the responses for his ask blog, and I agreed. And when that didn't go so well, I decided I'm going to make my own ask blog because I had already wanted to make some comics for Discord and Fluttershy, so I decided why not. Hmm, alright, so that's how you got into the whole um, us block Tumblr. So how, okay, I know there's one is the mod, but how did you came up with the other two? Well, actually there are all us blocks. My mod blog is Feather Jam. <laughs> oh, okay, so how did you came up with the idea, like um, the Fluttershy and uh, Discord ship, and what was the other one again? Um, Guide Constellation. How do you came up with those um, concept and ideas? Well, um, for the Discord and Fluttershy ones. Well, for the uh, main one, which is Ask Dizzy Shy, um, basically just the show and <sighs> just people drawing them. And I just thought it was so cute. So I just made an ask blog about it. <laughs> nice. And for the us Discord Dizzy Shy, basically just turn Fluttershy into well, just Discord Fluttershy, right? Um, not exactly. Um, it's actually like their relationship became Discorded. Oh wow! Okay. It's kind of a it's a dark blog, but so yeah. Hey, people love dark things. I like my dark shirts, and Lycan lives in Australia, so he's having a dark soul of a time. Oh yeah, it's like Dark Souls around here. Every <laughs> every turn, there's deadly things that want to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> how did you get into drawing? Like, um, your style, your inspiration, and whatnot. Hmm, well, when I was younger, I just I decided to draw some comics, and it did. I didn't stop drawing the comics. 
until I started secondary school, mm-hmm. I kind of stopped drawing. But after I started watching Ponies, I started drawing some more. And I kept drawing and trying to get better so that people would like it. <laughs> so how long have you been, well, how long have you been drawing then? Hmm. Um, since I was about nine, I think. Mm, and you started doing digital drawings uh, last year or two years ago? Yeah, last year. Oh. oh wait, um, no. <laughs> last, last year is not. Um, 2013. Uh, we, we need to add that one more number because we're in 2015. Yay! One year into the future. We are. Oh no. <laughs> <sighs> Still nothing changed. Still the same. <laughs> No new episode, they said. So, you started drawing digitally in 2013. So, what was your tool of the trade back then? Um, the same thing as now. It's just an Android tablet. Really now? So, you're using an Android app for it? Yeah, I use Sketchbook. And what do you use to draw? Like, um, stylus or your fingers? Um, the tablet actually comes with a pen, so I just use the pen. Ah. Right, so basically, it's a Samsung then. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's cool. That's cool. So I'm taking a look see at some of your drawings, and I have seen one of your other drawings. So if I can remember what the drawing is, oh, I'm so derpy. Um, it's one of the have a very pony Christmas, and that's with the Android too. Yep. Wow, <laughs> that looks good. Wow, thank you. And it looks good, like especially on a tablet like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you mentioned that you didn't like the... When you first started watching it, um, you weren't that keen on the season four. When did you start to get into ponies then? Hmm, well, when I started watching it, it was, it was just very interesting. It wasn't at all like I expected it to be. And I just started watching episode by episode, and... I would watch like four a day until the middle of season two when I had to wait for the new ones on set. <laughs> Welcome to the club! Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh, I remember yes. those days, like live streaming it. Oh, God. So wait, you started watching during season two? Um, yep. Mm, wow. You know, there's a lot of shows that started uh, around season two, like um, the late... Everything of West started around season two, and this show started after season. Well, not after, but around season two. So, <laughs> wow! So you became a fan during then and started during then. Yeah, I think I started drawing during the hiatus between season two and season three. Ah, all right. Seems about right. Mm-hmm. Yay! <laughs> and you said you liked uh, the character of Discord. Did you like him like the first time you met him? Um. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh no. To be honest, I felt I find him a little bit charming. Oh my. Ah. Uh, well, looks uh, like you have sorry. competition then. <laughs> looks like you have competition because you're not the only one who wants this card. <laughs> I know, it's horrible. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure Discord will notice you. Discord Senpai, please notice her. <laughs> So when, you, so when you watched the episode where uh, Discord came back with Fluttershy, were you like, oh, that's so good? I heard about it um, before it came out, and I couldn't sleep that night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually watched it, like, the minute it came onto YouTube with my father. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's awesome. What did he say? Um... He actually likes the show a little bit. Oh my. Um, oh, after, after we watched that episode together, well, now he, he's watched all the episodes. And whenever a new episode comes out, we watch it together. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I need to ask this one. What do you guys think about the first Equestria Girls? Um, I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Dislike it? Neutral? It was alright. It was kind of funny to see Twilight kind of confused about what was going on because she usually knows everything about everything. Mm, 
Okay. And what about your father? The same reaction or like, oh my god, what am I watching? Um, he doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. And what about Rainbow Rocks? Um, well, I thought it was much better than the first one. I found it. I found it very interesting. Uh, my father. I don't think he gave me any commentary. I think he just sort of walked away <laughs> after. <laughs> Well, oh, mm, no, no comment. Like uh, everyone has their opinion. Um, Rainbow Rock is not for everyone. I personally like it. Can't wait to review it. But hey, mm. huh. well, w- where do we go from there? <laughs> well, they've definitely set us up for a third one as well with the uh, ending post credit oh, scene. One. Mm, I can't wait. I can't Indeed. wait. So, are you a big music fan as well? Um, yeah. So you like all the songs that they've got on the show? Do you dance and sing to them as well? Sometimes. <laughs> hey, who doesn't? Yeah. Who doesn't sing to it? Dancing is another thing, but singing? Oh, I do it all the time. It's so catchy. Oh, I dance. Yeah, I dance in my chair every time Razor's Bone comes oh, up. <laughs> uh, we, we know. We all know your love for that one pony icon. We all know. <laughs> uh, we, we can start a meme. We can start a meme. <laughs> uh, so, let me see. Uh, you started the whole blog because of Discord and Fluttershy. So, have you written any fanfics about it? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually written three about Discord and Fluttershy. Hey, it's nothing to be ashamed of. As long as people... Well, technically, I'm on your page and wow, you seem to have a lot of th- thumbs up versus thumbs down. So, that's good. I hope so, because I want to be a writer Ah. when I'm older. So you're taking literature in high school then? Well, I hope I am, but I'm not so sure because it's hard to get (laughs) books for that. Mm, Pro tip, internets. Internets is always easy. (laughs) But anywho, like that? So, um, yeah, if you do want to become a writer, do you have any inspirations? My father, because my father is actually a published author. Mm-hmm. That's cool. We won't ask what book he wrote unless you want to share it with us, because we don't like to pry. I think I shall. Um, okay. <laughs> the book he wrote that I really liked would be The Demon in the Wizard. Oh, wow. It's very- I-, I like the title but- already. I like the title. <laughs> it's actually only available online at the moment. Hey, much more easier. You don't have those pesky papers to cut you. <laughs> So, any synopsis for that book? Hmm. Well, I had to think about it. <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. If you don't remember, that means we need to read it. Yeah, probably does. Hmm. So, have you thought about combining your love of art and writing to um, go into comics? Well, um, I draw a lot of comics, but I don't think I could do it professionally because I'm kind of lazy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's the true way of an artist, being lazy. So, I'm taking a look-see at your page, like the Tumblrs, the Fimfic, and also the DeviantArts. And I do see here something like uh, Pony Mania buttons. Did you sell those? Yeah, um, I sold them at Animangaki. Ah, Animangaki. So, how did that uh, response? Like, uh, was it good? Was it bad? Um, let's just say Comic Fiesta was better. Ah, I see. So you also went to Comic Fiesta then, right? Mm-hmm. How was that? Well, the sales were the same as Animangaki, but it was more fun, I guess. Ah, I see. So, um, how was your experience at CF, as they say? It was exciting because I got to see some of the people I made friends with at Animangaki and made a lot of new people. Like this one stranger here talking to you. Yeah. Ain't that right, Lycan? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So, I bought the buttons and they're, they look really cool. Seriously, they look really cool. I'm happy I bought them. Thank you. So, we want to talk about this one Discord button. Which one is that? I think it's the Discord button on your DeviantArt. It's just... Discord button. I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, you probably got lots of different buttons, don't you? But I don't have anything to say about it. Right. Well, I, I remember this one fun fact about that button where um, you can get a buck off if you can answer 
MLP related question. Yeah. And wow, did I got stumped. <laughs> <laughs> the first question I got was from, I don't remember who, but the question is, um, during the Heartswarming Eve episode, who was, um, who did Pinkie Pie play? Can you answer that one, Lycan? Oh, hang on. <laughs> no, without um, looking at the wiki or whatnot. Like, could you? I'm not looking at the wiki. I'm not going to check. Don't worry. Um, it was Pudding Head. Yeah. But what's the full uh, name? Uh, I can't remember the title. <laughs> I know it was Pudding Head. That's about it. Oh, like, I got that question. I, I don't really remember. For, but once I heard the full name, Chancellor Pudding Head, I was like, what? Oh, so enraged. How could I not know? Actually, my sister so, gave you that question. Um, she's not in, so into pony. She didn't know the answer, actually. <laughs> but, oh, God. <laughs> like, the uh, good thing Dan was there to help her out. Yeah. But, oh, man. Like, there were some other questions. Like, um, what was the other one that you asked me? Do you remember that one? Um, no. Um, it was, that one was simple. I, I, I got that one right, right away. But, uh, oh, was it the... Um, Rainbow Dash was based off of what Generation One character? Yeah, that one, Firefly. That one was easy. That's all I can say. But Dan's question was so sadistic. Like, how many strings does Lyra Hot String has on her cutie mark? I can <laughs> three. <laughs> how many episodes does the CMC feature in season four? Ah, uh, uh, feature? Yeah, feature like uh, individually and combined. Oh, uh, see, I would have no idea. Uh, those are the kind of questions he would ask to professional bronies like us. Jerk. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm looking at the Pony Mania button again, and it looks gothic. What was the inspiration behind this one? Um, those are based on the toy series they had, Pony Mania. Uh, I would have not guessed. <laughs> So, you decided to goff them all up, eh? Including Applejack? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all of this is drawn on your tablet, right? Yep. I can't believe it. It looks really good. <laughs> Thank you. What's the What's the whole process like? Like, what's what goes behind drawing a picture? Let's take example for the Pony Mania button Luna. What goes behind that? Well, I need a reference. Mm-hmm. Um for the colors and everything and the shape of her face and her hair and stuff and then I do like three sketches um, and then I actually start adding the color I didn't do any line art because it doesn't have any lines mm-hmm. so that was about it <laughs> so basically all this done in sketchbook was it the uh, app called sketchbook yep hmm. this is interesting because I'm taking a look see and if you would, if you were to ask me, like what app you were using, I would have said either Photoshop or Paint to Sai. <laughs> I would never thought that you would draw this on a tablet. That's interesting. So all of your work has been done on a mobile tablet, something like that. Yep, all of it, <laughs> all the digital art. Uh-huh. So have you ever thought about moving to PC with a Wacom tablet or something like that? Well, for now, I don't think I will because it's expensive. Yeah, true. And- um, I also, I feel like it will take me a lot of time to learn, mm. and I'll just stick to what I have for now. Mm, okay, that, that's cool, that's cool. So how how easy is it working with um, sketch note or sketchbook, what's it called? Mm, I, I got no idea, what's that? Sketchbook, was it? Yep. Um, well, I downloaded a few other apps, art apps, and they were all a little bit hard to use. Some of them were lagging. But the sketchbook was the easiest because it's very simple. Um, everything is right there for you to see. And it's just really easy. Hmm, okay. It looks interesting. Like uh, the lines, everything, they look clean. Like I said, they look like if you were to ask me what app did you use, I would say like um, Psy because it looks like Psy. But when you mention it, it's, uh, it has a lot of shadings too. So it's really good. <laughs> Thank you. So, other than that, have you ever used one of your drawings for covers for your fictions? Like, three of them? Yeah, all of them. Oh. Mind recommending a fic of yours to people who might be interested in reading your fics? 
Well, I think I would suggest Pull Me Through because that's the usual kind of story I would write and it's a little bit odd and so you'll get a feel of what I like to write. Okay, adding it to the read me later. Speaking of fanfics, do you have a favorite fanfic that uh, you like? I actually don't read fanfiction. Oh, blast from oh. me. No, no. Oh, interview over, flip table. <laughs> Uh, uh, is there a particular is there a particular reason why? Um, I can't really stare at a screen for reading like that for very long. Uh, so, so you're the kind of person who likes paper instead of digital, right? Yep. Well, I can respect that. I can respect that because some people, well, books need to be read. Like the medium of reading needs to be on a piece of paper. So I can understand that. I respect that. Interview back on. Interview back on. Yeah. There's no feeling like turning a page, is there? Yeah, and then getting paper cuts. Ouch. <laughs> but do you know what's better than reading? What? Listening to people read to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Audiobooks. Yay. Not the same. But uh, I wish we had people from that one company to sponsor us so we can... Never mind. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Feathers, if you need someone to um, fig read for you, I can do it. Or maybe I can. Depends on who's free. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but still, uh, um, looking at your art, I can say much. I'm I'm still impressed that you use um, a tablet to draw this. So, wow, good on you. you got to remember, though, it's the artist, not, not the tools that they use. True, true. But still, it... so feather feather gem is the one that makes it work. Mm-hmm. But sometimes the tool is impressive, as I was saying. So you do traditional art as well. Yeah, that's how I started, of course. Um, sometimes I like to do that better, and I don't know. It's just some. It feels different when you're drawing on paper. I know what you mean. When I do a mistake, I always like to tap my fingers on the desk, but nothing happens. <laughs> I do that sometimes at school. <laughs> Yay! Oh god. Ah, life needs a control Z button. So you obviously like enjoying both, uh, enjoy drawing both um, Discord and Fluttershy. Are there any other characters you like drawing? Um, yeah, I like to draw, I'd like to draw Twilight and Slantia quite a bit. Slantia. Those are a good couple. I like those too. <laughs> and you mentioned that you met Norman at, uh, what was it? Comic Fiesta. Comic Fiesta. Mm -hmm. uh, is that just a general convention for comics? It's the year-end convention for uh, Malaysia. We do, well, basically what that con does is they pull everything anime-related, but sometimes cartoon gets involved. Like, if you're a fan of Marvel, they do that too. But the whole mm -hmm. con is just basically to promote whatever anime is there and to have people, well, to have sellers have their stuff there so they can sell swag. Okay, that's nice. So do you watch any other um, cartoons or anime apart from ponies? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a mini series that just came out recently. It's called Over the Garden Wall. Oh, that one. Yeah, I love that so much. I need to I need to watch it. To be honest, I kind of like things that are a little bit dark, <laughs> um, a little bit weird. So that was perfect for me. Okay, dark and weird. That show is perfect. Oh, have you watched Adventure Time then? Yeah. Ah, Adventure Time is, I wouldn't say dark, it's weird, but it's cool. It's a cool show. I like it. Yep. It's, a, it's a nice adventure. <laughs> yep, it is a nice adventure. And with 20 minutes on its time, it's kind of short show to watch. It makes it enjoyable to watch because you can watch it in short snippets. Mm -hmm. And that time pun did not work well. Like, a, you're, you're the master of puns. You're the master of puns. <laughs> so you mentioned being at CF or Comic Fiesta. What was your reaction to it? Like, was it your first time there? Um, it was actually my second time, mm. but it was a little bit overwhelming because there were so many people. For the first time or for the second time? Um, the second time. Uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, the placement of the whole booth and stage was how do I put this not nice or not well placed if you know what I mean 
Yeah. Yeah. So it made things look a little bit hectic than it really is. Yeah. But you also vendored, right, at the con? Yep, I did. So how was that like? Like, how was the whole process of getting it set up and whatnot? Well, I on both days I came a little bit late,、mm. which after the doors opened, so I had to be really quick. Okay. It was crazy. <laughs> oh. But after I got it set up, it was okay. All right. So what was like you said?、Um, the response was almost the same. People bought and、uh, bought your buttons, and yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, what was your reaction meeting all the other bronies that went to your vending booth and bought your stuff? Well, to be un- to be honest, I find all of you adorable. Ah. <laughs>、uh... <laughs> I I just really like you guys, and I wasn't like some people might be creeped out by some things like that. But I just liked you all so much. Oh, thank you very much.、Oh, thanks for that feather, Jim. I don't know what to say because, like, oh, I mean, oh. Norman got called adorable.、Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs>、uh, okay. What was your first convention that you ever went to? Um, that would be last year's. Wait, not last year. Two thousand thirteen's Animangaki. Oh. Oh wow. So that was your first, eh? Yep. Yeah. Were you just a guest there, or were you vendoring? Ah,、uh, just a guest.、Hmm. Okay. And so, the、uh, when was your first vendoring role? Um, last year's Anime Gaki. Last year's Anime Gaki. Oh, that's cool. Two thousand fourteen, right? Yeah. All right. Okay, we need to double check that because time <laughs> loops and whatnot. Because whew. Are, are you just vendoring by yourself, or、um, do you vendor with other people? No. Um, I shared a booth with some friends. Okay. That's cool.、Uh, do they are they also into ponies, or were they drawing other? Were they vendoring other material? Um, at Animagaki was all ponies at my booth, at their booth actually. <laughs>、uh, at Kamen Fiesta, it was both ponies and other things. Yeah, if I remember right, they were Pokemon's and other anime influences, right? Yep.、Mm, all right. So, besides all that and calling us adorable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also cosplay at all of them, right? Um. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, if I do remember right, two thousand thirteen, you were cosplaying as Twilight, right? Yes. <laughs> And this year was, wow! I I、uh, I am lost for words. Like, if you. If you people want to, like, if you can find me on my Facebooks and whatnot, you can look in through my gallery and spot the pony-related cosplayer. Very adorable, very cute.、Hmm. What did I mention to you again, Feathers? Um, I don't know. I, I think I say very moy. Oh, yes. <laughs> very very <laughs> moy. I think I shall put some kind of picture right here or during the whole show just to show how moy you are as Discord and Kako. <laughs> Sonata das was it? Yep. So how much did it cost you to build the whole cosplay thing, like the whole costume? Well, well, I I don't remember how it went for Twilight, but for um Eris or Discord.、Mm-hmm. It cost a lot of money to make that suit. Wow.、Um, because I got it custom made because they don't make suits this small. <laughs> okay. And for Sonata, actually, Sonata was very easy. I just, I think I started putting her together、um, in November. Wow, that's cutting、so、close. She was very quick. She was very easy to do. Well, it's just a hoodie and a blue wig and what else? Nothing more. Nothing more. Um, the amulet. Ah, yeah. And this、uh, Aries, what was that about? Well, like, sorry, what was that like? Like,、um, do you remember the whole process? Um, quite difficult. It was my first really difficult cosplay because most of it I had to make myself.、Right. I made the ears and the wings, so kind of difficult. I say it's worth it because I think you got a lot of pictures out of it, right? <laughs> yep. Well, totally worth it then. Like all those hard works, getting pictures taken, totally worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> so we mentioned you experience. Sorry, we mentioned your experience at Comic Fiesta. We mentioned you cosplaying, and we also mentioned your art and 
fanfic page and also your Tumblr. Is there anything that we're missing out? Hmm. I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. So, like, any more questions before we wrap it up? Um. No, it's been very interesting hearing about all you do and what you've done so far and look forward to seeing what you'll do in the future. True that, true that. And probably hope you can go to a foreign pony convention. That'll be that'll be a dream come true. You know what I mean? <coughs> PonyCon AU. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <coughs> PonyCon AU still is like a... <coughs> <laughs> But thank you. Um, thank you once again, Feathers. Uh, thank you for coming on and answering our silly, derpy questions. <laughs> so, where can I find you online, that is? Well, my Facebook, and I guess you can go to my mode blog, which is just Feathergem. Feathergems.tumblr.com, right? Mm-hmm. Alrighty, then I will add that into the show notes, and... Um, give you some more followers from this show. Thank you. <laughs> thank you once again for coming on. Yeah, thanks. Can you join us for news time? Uh, yeah, sure. Yay! Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Lycan, would you like to read this one? Yes, and now it's time for news time. In today's news time, 4D Fluttershy and Twilight Sparkle available for pre-orders. If you've seen the fourth dimension entertainment Twilight Sparkle plush, you'll have a general idea about how well the plush is made. Uh, Currently, fourth dimension entertainment is opening pre-orders for the Twilight Sparkle and Fluttershy plush. The price of the plush will be about $25. Uh, Links can be found in the show notes below. Yep, so if you have seen them in person or touched them, you know how well this is made. I personally have a 4D E Twilight and whew, she is good. The quality built and the uh, main and everything, it's well made. It's really well made. Um, mm. like a, I think they're um, praised as one of the uh, best commercially available um, plush. plushies out there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, I think there's another one behind 4D E or above 4D, but I don't remember. Was it Nixon? 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 Uh, I don't know, but whether it's commercially available or not, it's a different matter, mm, though. Yeah. Fedders, have you seen it? Um, yeah, I sure have. Um, they're very nice. <laughs> I know. Their build is different from the one that's available uh, publicly, or, or locally, that is. And if I'm not mistaken, you also have a plush, right? Yeah, I have two. Mm, um, a Rainbow Dash and a... Uh, who now? Fluttershy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you know who made them, or which company made them? Yeah, um, it was Nietzsche. Nietzsche, oh yeah, that one. Nietzsche. So how's the build? Like, is it better or is it almost the same? Well, I think Fluttershy was well made, but the wings are kind of not right in place. They're kind of overlapping. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, this was the box by with the doctor, right? Uh, no, um, I bought them myself. Ah, <laughs> alright. So that's a totally different one because... I also did a bulk buy with the doctor, and I got a chrysalis, and that one was the China one thingy. I, I don't really remember. It's uh, If you notice on EQD, there's one of those posts that has those um, knockoffs or something like that. I don't remember, but it's there. So, yeah, um, if you say they're pretty good, then we'll believe you. So, if anyone's interested, links to pre-order them are on are in the show notes but please do remember um, pre-ordering them might cost or might take a bit of time before it comes to you because I've experienced it with the Twilight uh. yeah definitely I've got some plushies myself actually I've got quite a few probably more than I should probably admit to <laughs> uh, besides the <laughs> Apple Bloom one um, what else yes uh, I've actually got four of the Builder Bear ones. Oh, Builder Bear! Oh, yeah, you live in Australia. You can get that one easily. So, how is that one compared to the 4DE? Um, they look much different. They're definitely not show accurate. They weren't trying to be, um, but they are fun because you get to stuff them yourself. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Yes, mm, stuff them with stuffing. Yes. So yeah. It- it makes it fun. Yeah, I, I remember James going to a Bilber in Manchester and stuffing uh, his rarity with uh, mm-hmm. what you might call this. If I do remember right, it was with an Apple Jack <laughs> sound box. 
<laughs> oh yes, yes. That's I don't know why, but <laughs> that's something James would do. <laughs> and also, um, fun fact: he dresses his rarity in a uh, cowboy with a cowboy hat and <laughs> jeans and shirt. <laughs> really, really confusing. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm sure there's lots of bronies out there who are just seething at him right now. <laughs> uh, too bad he can't defend himself. Oh, dear. Uh, but anyway, um, Feder, if you have the opportunity, would you buy this for the E plushie? Definitely. <laughs> you like them? Oh, definitely. I I have seen the uh, 4D plushies myself as well, and they do look really, really nice. Mm, I heard next year probably they're going to come up with a lot more like the Luna and Celestia and even the Doctor Who's you mean this year oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice it uh, wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff oh yes all that stuff yep yeah. maybe by next week I'll get myself used to the time zones but anywho um, yeah the, this year on you know, the mid year something like that it'll come up with more so we'll see uh, maybe I won't get this first try probably I'll get a derpy instead well that's about it for today's news uh can I add a piece of news? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead, Lycan. Okay. Also happening, Legends of Equestria are looking to have an open server event later this month. Mm. Uh, Legends of Equestria are looking at having the open server from the 24th to the 26th of January, and early downloads will happen a few days beforehand. Uh, the links to that will be in the show notes below. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Do you play any uh, games like that feather gym? Um, I've been wanting to, but I have to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Uh, Eloise, uh, MMO. So no, MMO will take over your life. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, I've played Eloise a bit, and it's an interesting game. Uh, it's really interesting. I, I don't know if it's... How do I put this? It's... I'll just say it's okay from my experience of it. What about you, Lycan? Have you played it? Uh, I have played LOE. Actually, I've played it with um, Flufflepuff, oh, of all people. that's cool. With his very own Flufflepuff pony, which can run around <laughs> everywhere. Great <laughs> havoc. And everyone just chases him around. <laughs> um, lots and lots of fun. Um, it's a great way to just design a character, mm -hmm. play with them, and just meet other people as well. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. But did Have you ever played LOE Feather Gem? Um, no, I'm afraid I haven't. Yeah. Oh, do you think you'd probably download it and give it a shot? Because I think it's on a weekend, that one is. I think so, because it just seems like the kind of game I like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I played it, and probably you would like it, unless you're the type of person who thinks about frame traps and um, frame invisibilities and whatnot, and also hitboxes. No? You, you're totally not understanding what I'm saying? No. Good. This is games for you. <laughs> yeah, it's very much, you just run around, and you just meet everyone. And they've even got the uh, sugar cube corner, or though it's not called that, it's called something else. But you walk inside, and there's all this music playing, and it's fantastic. Mm, sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. You're, you will have fun. But if I do remember, they're trying to do some kind of um, adventure thingy where you can level up. Or am I thinking um, something else? I'm not sure. I no no no. I'm, they might be able. They might be uh, trying to get that implemented. But uh, they're looking at implementing quests and uh, all that fun stuff. Mm. So like, go go get X number of this. I know there was um, a diamond dogs. Um, cavern, and you had to mine for gems. You had to get five gems or whatever. And there was also a quest where you had to see the chef and then go somewhere else to get all this uh, ingredients and stuff. So, yeah, it's it's definitely a fun game. There's lots to do, um, apart from just flying around, running around, just creating general havoc. <laughs> but you did that all MMOs. Oh, Yeah. So yes, Feather Gem, if you do want to play that later on when it does come out, then hit us up and we'll create you and we'll uh, introduce you to the madness. Cheers. So any more news like it? Uh, no, and that is it for this week's episode. Awesome. News. Thank you, thank you. So moving on to the next topic is shoutouts. My first shout-out goes to you, Feathers. Thank you for coming on and being an awesome guest. 
<laughs> Thank you. I hope you do come on again. And uh, well, don't be a stranger because we, we all know each other. And I hope you're uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not too shy. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, and also thank you, like, and thank you for coming on and being an awesome guy, man. Hey, thanks for having me again. No problem, no problem. Probably I'll have you on again next week for that other project. Remember that one with that one guy? Oh yes, 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 definitely. Mm-hmm. Ooh. We will see. Super secret project next week. <gasps> yeah, probably. <laughs> so anyway, uh, like and shout outs. Uh, shout out to the Team OK stream at the moment. Uh, they are going on and they are drawing arts and they are creating general mayhem <laughs> as is normal for Team OK. Oh god, yes. Chaos. Any more? No, that's about it. Um, Nothing for, for the shadow? Stronghold? <laughs> oh yes. Uh, <laughs> definitely shout out to Stronghold. Um, the Ask Stronghold blog. Um, go check that out. Very nice. <laughs> you have to pimp it, don't you? <laughs> well, I force you to pimp it. <laughs> <laughs> I never know what to do with those shout-outs when it comes to that. It's like, uh, I don't know. Oh, never mind. If you're hearing this, Ray, I'll whip him into shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, Feathers, what about you? Shout-outs? Two, I think. To the followers of all my blogs. Just Thank them. I thank them for all the support they give me. Thank you, my lovelies. And also to um, all the brownies and both um, the Malaysian brownies and everyone else. You're so, everyone is so adorable. <laughs> ah, they're calling me adorable. Eee! <laughs> uh, I, I hope they listen to this so they can receive the message. If not, I will have to force them to listen. Uh, but anywho... If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsshow at gmail.com. And also, if you'd like to email us personally, links can be found in the show notes. You can also reach us on Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. So the bot will tweet this podcast out and also reply to your messages to her. And probably once in a while, she'll message you about stuff that she is doing, like saying hello. And if you'd like to... If you'd like to reach me, I can be found at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toy stuff and whatever tickles my fancy. And right now, I am tweeting stuff about that I am an uncle. Yes, I am an uncle. I'm an old man now. <laughs> uh, I feel old. Lycan, what about you? Ah, uh, yes. You can find me on DeviantArt uh, at Very Lycan. You can also find me on Twitter at Very Lycan. Um, and I am also on the Cantalot Hill IRC, uh, known as Lycan. You can find me there as well. Mm, awesome, awesome. So Cantalot Hill, eh? So how's that doing for you? Ah, uh, yeah, it's actually going really well. Um, EFN is burning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite literally, if you go to the Ever Free Network page, you will see a forest fire I, I in the background. You, I thought that site redirects you to Cantalot Hill. Oh, no, 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 no. You will have to definitely go to the Everfree Network page and you will find quite a lot of irony there. <laughs> uh, and it will, it does have a clickable link to mm-hmm. Canelot Hill. And on that page, you can go to the IRC, which is the Internet Relay Chat. And I am one of the uh, moderators on that chat. I've been around for a while. And so they trust me and put me in a position of somewhat power. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is madness. It is madness. I mean, someone gave me power. Can you believe it? <gasps> uh, knowing you, you probably spent all those souls it's le- leveling up your swords or something like that. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway, uh, Federus, you have the Twitters? Um, no. <laughs> uh, it's cool, it's cool. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitch Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. I'm looking at you, Federus. <laughs> You can also catch us on PonyBayLife.com. Links will be provided in show notes. So anyway, I've been Norman Sanzo. I'm Lycan. And we'll try to see you next week with a more fuller guests and stuff because I'm running derpy right now. Yeah. Bye-bye. Happy New Year, everyone. Yes, Happy New Year. Yeah.